What's up guys, Maniacs here, and welcome to No One. Now this game popped up today on GameJolt and Itch.io, and this game looks like it's got a pretty little, pretty cool little concept to, to it. Wow, I can't talk today. Anyway, in this game, it's part of a game jam, so it's not going to be like ridiculous in what it is, but in this game, what you are going to be doing is you are part of a company that heals people, I guess you could say, and you're in a dystopian future, and apparently you can heal pretty much anything as long as you get the waves of the patient correctly. Now, you guys will see that what I'm talking about once we actually get into it, but this is like a dystopian future where the government's like, nope, we have, you only have one minute to actually help and heal these people. Otherwise, they're dead. Get them out of here. So, kind of a sick little turn on that type thing, but it looks pretty cool and looks kind of fun. Now, you guys can see my cursor. I have that on here so you guys can actually see what the heck I'm doing. And the game runs pretty well. I played it just for a minute just to try and grasp what the game really wanted me to do because at first it can seem like, oh god, what do I do? But once you get into it, it's actually kind of fun and it's actually really pretty easy. So, this is like the thing. For further info, this is just thing saying, hey, if you guys want to check it out, go to that. So, Brave, apparently we're Brave Pain or or corp, I guess you could say, and in order to get rid of stuff, you click on it to bring it up and right click on it to get it away. So, I am this guy. I can't see my name. There's no way to like see your face or anything like that. I don't even know what the hell my name is, nor can I read any of this. It's all super cursive and I can't read cursive really as it is because I suck when it comes to, I can't read, I can hardly read English. Cursive, I, I'm, we're going to skip over that. Anyway, this is the type of thing that I want to kind of Get show you guys what's going on first because I actually jumped into this game and when you turn the light on that's when the game will actually start so I kind of want to give you guys a heads up of what I am actually going to be doing and I will explain more of it as I go into the game so your job consists of treating the patients using the substance using the, su the sustenances on your desk to stabilize their constant and needs as the state orders you have one minute to deal with each patient if you surpass the time limit the patient will be rejected for treatment and probably die you'll be shown a total of three constant waves for each patient and your duty will be to copy the needle wave into the current wave display using the sustenance following the description below so more or less what you're supposed to do is match the bandwidth so this is going to be what the patient needs and this is what you're currently doing and you have to use these different things by clicking on each one and again we'll talk about it once I get into it in order to match it now while doing that it can be a little hard because this won't change until you actually inject the patient so when a patient comes up I believe it starts at nine is the maximum that you can actually even have total in the game you'll start with nine injections so you have to like kind of fiddle with it inject the patient see where the waves at maybe you got lucky maybe you didn't you just got to match them up and obviously the farther you go in the less injections are permitted and more or less the less score you'll get so let's go ahead and turn the light on and see what happens this is pretty cool I like the way everything works all right so like I was saying before this is the wave that I need to get and this is the current wave that's going on right now now each one of these things does something different so the red one will actually space out the, the needle marks the green one will bring them closer together the blue one makes them taller or shorter or taller and the orange one makes them sh like basically longer excuse me, makes them shorter. So I need to basically get really short. So maybe, and every time you click on one of these, there's a bunch of different stages. So there's a huge amount of stages that you could get. This will speed it up drastically. So once I do this, and then maybe I'll just do one of these, inject the patient, we'll see where we're at. All right, so I need to go a little bit faster is what it looks like. So I need to space it out a little bit more. So maybe if I do like one, one of those orange ones, boom, I got it, reanimation, okay, next step incoming. So now I need to match this one and this is where it starts so it more or less resets itself every time I only have 27 seconds more or less because I'm talking but I'm trying to kind of show you guys what the heck I'm talking about so I'm gonna inject him just a little bit that will open up the the waves okay it really didn't do much no I need to close them my bad I need to close them nope that's too much and I like the fact that you can actually do it crap okay I'm gonna do two and then I'm gonna in increase the size nope that's too much nope that's too much nope Ah, next number injection exceeds next patient incoming so that patient died because I suck all right my bad I am gonna get one of these and these are the different things that you have so if you get all three all of these lights filled up you basically fail so it's a really cool little concept but the fact that you only have 90 seconds I believe or 70 seconds or whatever the heck it is I have more than a minute which is weird it's a little hard and you have to do it three different times so I'm actually gonna kind of concentrate probably not gonna get it on this one because I more or less suck but like right now I have nine injections so it's like all right I kind of have that so far now what I need to do is increase those BAM got that one all right so this is the second wave I need to increase the amount so I need to bring them in and then I need to kind of 
speed them, make them slightly smaller. Actually, make them, there we go, slightly bigger. Got it. Reanimation. Next up, incoming. All right. So this one, I need to, once you play it a couple times, you kind of grasp what it kind of wants you to do. So I'm going to do the red one. Uh, all right. I need to drop them. And of course, uh oh, uh, that crap. He only has one more injection. Uh, yes, I got it. Cool. Save that patient. Next patient incoming. Yay. I saved one patient. All right. So this one, drop it down a little bit. Nope. I keep forgetting the red actually spaces it out. All right, there we go. And let's drop it. Boom, I got that one. But the one thing is, every time you inject them, it obviously it will give you more of what you need to get, but you only have nine injections throughout the entire thing, through all three steps. So it's a cool little concept to where you more or less got to play with it for a little while, and then you'll kind of get at what you really need to do. So I need to increase those big time, and then I need to space them out just a little bit. So I need to do like one red. Let's try that. Boosh, there we go. So I have three injections left. I have two. All right, so that's what I'm at right now. It's more or less the same thing as it was before. So now I need to space them out drastically and you can kind of play with it and whatnot. And I also need to use the blue ones as well. So I'll do that. All right, so that's, that's close. Oh, I did get it. All right, cool. I got that one as well. Awesome. All right, next patient. So I'm curious, I've only healed technically one patient. No, I actually ran out of time on that last one. My bad. All right, so I need to, uh, God, it's hard to kind of remember exactly which one does what. So I need to uh, do that. Nope. One of those, and then I need to bring them in closer. So I'm going to do that. Boosh, got it. Now, it is a type of thing where if you get it right, it will technically still count against you but you just gotta kinda play with it. So I'm gonna do three of those, and then I'm gonna do, what is it? It increases one of those, see what happens. Boosh, first try, reanimation okay. Next step incoming. All right, I have 38 seconds, I think I can do this. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do three of those, and I'm gonna increase the size drastically. Uh, oh, perfect, I got that one. I've healed two people. All right, I'm gonna see if I can get maybe five. So this game's kind of fun. It's really unique in the way that you do it. Now see, I've healed two patients, and I only have eight tries this time, so it kind of increases the difficulty. So I need to do that, and I need to increase that. Uh, no, I need to drop it one. And then, boosh, there we go. All right. So if you can kind of keep it as, like, two tries and then get it, you more or less can get it. So bring those in, and I also need to shrink it. So there we go. Perfect. First try. So once you play it a couple times, it more or less becomes second nature, I guess, is what you need to do. So that needs to be increased big time, and then dropped so uh maybe one more time nope um that looks right there we go got him all right save that patient i've saved three again it's still sticking with eight and i don't think there's really anything other there's more story to it or anything like that so i'm gonna do three of those and one of those see what that does gives me nope still need to increase it nope Need to go back. Sorry. There we go. Got him. I'm curious if it goes all the way down to like just one person And I am curious what happens when you more or less kill the person, but let's do that and then Drop it just or no. No, sorry, and you can reset so it's not like you're stuck once you actually click the buttons in All right. Nope. I messed up. I totally read that wrong There we go perfectly luckily. I got it. All I had to do was change the red. All right, so let's uh Let's shrink this Big time and let's do that as well oh I need to open it up one more time next patient incoming max number of injections oh I got him max number of injections all right cool save that guy so I'm gonna see what happens oh so now I've gone up to four patients healed I only have six tries left so it more or less just keeps counting down and my time has actually gone down as well I didn't even realize that all right I'm gonna inc small that and then do that we'll see Perfect first try got it. All right, uh, this one's gonna be big time So I got to kind of bring those together and then increase the size. So All right space them out. Maybe one boosh got it. See if we can save five people and we'll see where we're at, at that point. All right uh, Spread those out and then increase the size Nope, I gotta oh No, no, no. Oh, I need to drop it down one Perfect save that patient as well you're healed, dude. Just let me stab you in the guts. Also, I love how there's like a dude in there. I don't know if he's another doctor or something like that. Now I want to see what happens when you just more or less kill them. Just because I've saved five, that's more or less all I have to really do. There's really no difference. I can just keep clicking on him and injecting him. I'm curious what happens 
when you kill all of the people that you can. Also, it's pretty brutal when you stab them and they're like, their whole body gut, guttural, you know, noises and whatnot. Alright, I'm gonna save this guy real quick just because I want to see if maybe there's something after. Oh, nope. I want to see if maybe there's something... Crap, this guy's might this guy might die anyway. All right, I only have one shot. All right, uh, that's what I'm at now. So that will drop the drop it down two and then increase it by one. Nope, this guy's gonna die. Oh no, I I messed it up. I had to do that one. All right, that guy died too. I got what five deaths. You are no longer needed. The state calls the next operator to the workstation R two six nine nine zero. That okay. Let us be thankful to the benefactor. Work hard, increase production. Press space in your terminal to call the next operator. Really? And then it just calls in a new guy. All right, so it's more or less just restarts the game. All right, so that was no one. That was a pretty cool little game. Now, the game, I will admit, does run a little harshly, especially on my computer for whatever reason. You guys know I can run pretty much anything on my computer. My chair is falling. I can run pretty much anything on my computer. It is running a little harshly, which, again, it is only a game jam game, so I'm not expecting it to be anything ridiculous. But for what this game is and the simplicity of it, it's actually still kind of fun. I mean, there's not too, too much to it. Once you kind of get the grasp of the game, it's still kind of like repetitive. I guess you could say but again it's part of a game jam so that's kind of what it was going for not the repetitiveness but it was going for a simple yet fun little game I like the graphic style everything looks really good I like the little comic-y like graphic style that the actual window and everything has behind it with like the, the arm and stabbing him or whatnot pretty cool little game if you guys want to check this out for yourself I recommend it if you're into this type of thing there'll be a link to it in the description below see how far you can get granted I only did five and then I wanted to kill him and see what happened just to see if there was like a message and I don't think the developer didn't say anything about like getting a certain amount of them and then possibly um you know continuing on right now but I like the little surgeon simulator kind of really not really styled to, not really surgeon simulator but like a surgery style game I think this game could have a little more to it like you could add a bunch of different things to it uh, you could do different surgery rooms. You could also, again, kind of like Surgeon Simulator, but not really. You could do different concoctions where you have to, like, match colors. Maybe there's something along those lines where with the waves or what. I, I don't know. This game has potential, but for a fun little game jam game, this was pretty cool. So if you guys want to check it out, I recommend it. Link is obviously in the description below. And thank you all so much for watching. Check out the annotations for more videos that I've done. Let me know what you guys thought of this game in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys next time. Maniacs, out. As I tur turned around, I saw something moving back there. There was a strange looking entity rising from the floor and it looked like a person but made of blood. The That's mine, mine, there we go, mine. there we go, back Give and it. forth. Yeah. There it. you go, there we go. Get rid of that. We don't need that. We this don't have to put that back in there. Gross.